You've probably heard a lot about the debate over stem cells and how the government recently lifted the limit on federal funding of this promising area of research. But do you know why scientists believe these stem cells hold such promise for saving and extending lives? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. We're all made up of different cells that have many different jobs. And for the most part, our bodies grow and stay healthy because our cells divide and multiply into more cells. Some of the most serious medical conditions, such as cancer and birth defects, are due to problems that occur somewhere in this process. Scientists are working toward a better understanding of normal cell development, which will allow us to understand and perhaps correct the errors that cause these medical conditions. Stem cells are among the most important cells contained within our bodies mainly because they have a high level of potency. Some turn into other cells that have discrete functions, like blood cells, or the cells that comprise our organs. While our bodies contain different types of stem cells, the most promising and the most controversial are embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are stem cells that can become any type of cell in the body. They offer the possibility of a renewable source of replacement cells and tissues to treat a myriad of diseases, conditions, and disabilities like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, spinal cord injury, stroke, burns, heart disease, diabetes, osteoarthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Embryonic stem cells are usually taken from excess embryos from IVF clinics that would otherwise be discarded. Biotechnology and other researchers have made great strides in finding new ways to develop stem cells. And many scientists believe we need to continue to explore all reasonable avenues to use these critical building blocks to help us find treatments and cures for devastating diseases. One day, scientists hope to use stem cells to better understand the causes of disease and to develop medicines that will cure and treat currently unmet medical needs. And biotech companies will play an important role. Lifting the funding ban was an important first step toward realizing the promise of stem cells. But it takes scientists and researchers working for our nation's biotechnology companies to move from promising research to therapies and cures. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.